We told you that we're going back to Minnesota soon, right? Yeah. How do you feel about it? <laughs> We're Ray and Jin. And ever since we posted a video explaining about what happened to my mom a few months ago, we get so many comments asking about how she's doing. So rather than just tell you ourselves, we figured it might be better to just give my mom a call and you guys can hear for yourself. So should we call her? Yeah, should we call? Yeah. Hi! Hello! Hi! <laughs> how are you? <laughs> That's such an American way to say, to answer how are you. Hanging in there. <laughs> I think we're also hanging in there. <laughs> so, um, the reason we called you, or one of the reasons that we called you is because, like, ever since we posted that video about you getting really sick, we got a lot of comments. Like many comments. I'm actually kind of curious, have you read any of the comments that people have left? I uh have. -huh. Really? They're mostly in Korean. That's what a translator is for. <laughs> oh, so you translate them? That's really cute yeah, actually. Some of them. How was it? So I am really touched by all the kind words. Hmm. Everybody seems very um, caring. Hmm. And I really appreciate that and it has meant a lot to me. Aww just shows that a lot of people are really uh, care about you. they really care about you and they're really concerned even though they are in another language it's universal people care about each other and that's very heartwarming mm -hmm. it's nice that people care about each other and take time out of their day to say something nice i really that means so much since people have asked us how you're doing, we don't really want to put words in your mouth. Like, can you give people an update? How are you feeling, honestly? So it depends on the, on the day. But compared to where I was even two months ago, mm -hmm. I'm doing phenomenal. But am I 100%? No, not even close. You're going to make me cry. That was, mm -hmm. that was one of the scary things that ever happened. I know. But, now I'm home, I'm doing my stuff, I'm very slow, I'm very tired, but I'm getting stuff done and... And you're even back at work now, right? Yeah, I am back at work. You know, every day is just slightly better than the day before and I just have to be patient with myself because my body went through a lot very fast. So I'm really proud that I'm as far as I am. So, uh, by the way, we got you Korean traditional six. Have you decided what to make with them? Yes. I've been working on some ideas for a quilt that I want to give to you guys. Aww. Um, to represent and remind you of, of Korea and maybe me and, and everything. I think, like, actually I saw a few comments that were kind of interesting. They were Korean comments. And they said, oh, it would be so interesting to see an American make a quilt out of Korean fabric. It's like uh, combining two cultures into one. They also, uh, one of the major compliments I always see about my mom is, Ray's mom's English pronunciation is so good. I think maybe Jin is gonna have to help you set up your own English <laughs> YouTube channel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> People can just listen to you talk all day. You know what's funny when you say that because I talk to people all day long as part of my job. Mm. And the one thing that everybody always says is exactly what you said, that I pronounce things so clearly and everybody says I should be on the radio. Mm. I could see that. So in other news, we told you that we're going back to Minnesota soon, right? Yeah. How do you feel about it? <laughs> wow, <laughs> not excited. No, I am beyond <laughs> excited. Okay. So I've been thinking about this a lot. And it's hard for me to answer this question because there are two answers. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you both answers and you can take it for what it's worth. Okay. As a mom who loves you more than anything, 
I want you home instantly. Mm -hmm. I want to have our hangout Sundays where we hang out and cook and watch shows or play games or I just, I miss you beyond mm -hmm. compare. But my job as a mom is to raise you to be a dependent. And I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of Jim. I'm very proud of the life you all have and the adventures you had and the fun that you have. I love watching your videos. I love seeing what everybody has to say. And so I feel like maybe you're better off staying where you are, even though I want you here. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to start crying. But another thing that I'm very worried about is the cost of living. It has gone through the roof. It's the highest it's been in 40 years. And so that also makes me scared for you coming back. I mean, we can still have plenty of adventures. I just hope, I just hope everybody who has loved you so much along the way continues to love you along the way. Mm -hmm. Because whether you're here or whether you're there, you're still you. That is very true. We're not changing, just our background is changing. <laughs> <laughs> I think, oh, some people said, like, that means we can see Ray's mom more often. <laughs> I, I think you're gonna have to be enlisted for some videos to make our subscribers happy. <laughs> I'll always, I'll always be happy to do that. I support you guys. Thank you. I'm, I'm amazed that people like me. I don't know why, but it's very touching. Wow, me? So, wow, thank you everybody for, <laughs> for supporting me. I appreciate that. Mm. Everyone deserves to be loved. Aww. Exactly. Like Jin, in Korea, when do kids usually leave their parents' house? When they get married? When they get married? Yeah. And then they end up returning to their parents' house if their parents start getting older? So in Korea, like it's really common to live with their parents and like support when they get older. Like how do you think about that concept? Like it's like a Korean culture. That's a very interesting question because it's not as common in the US any longer. It used to be. In this modern age, it's not so common. I always thought that was a good concept. But do I want you in my face? No. I see. Do I want you nearby? Yes. I'm always doing a project. Mm. Always. And for me, that means I need quiet concentration time to do whether I'm crocheting or sewing or whatever project I'm doing, cutting my snowflakes. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. I have to have that that time to do it. Thank you. And you know that about me. I mean, you, grew up with me, so you know how I am. Mm -hmm. You guys are young, you need to live your life, you need to have your privacy, mm -hmm. and I'm slightly set in my ways with doing my projects, and you have to think about it because of circumstances, and maybe my answer would be different if your dad hadn't passed away, or Vaughn was still here, or I don't know how to have people in my place 24-7. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not good at that. So, uh... Yeah, when we go back to Minnesota, what's the thing you're looking forward to doing with us first? Hugging you. Oh. You know me, I just want to sit next to you and cuddle and... We can all hug each other. A triple hug? Yeah. Yep, exactly. <laughs> that was a cute answer. Oh, say can you